Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you can get notified when a new video comes in. And before we get started on this video, you need to like and share this video so we can get this information out here. So I want to touch on something just to get y'all thinking and just to give y'all some reality to what's really going on with you when you're on your spiritual journey. So in the Bible, they talk about the tree of life. They talk about the serpent coming to Eve and telling her to eat from the tree of life. And she ate from the tree of life. And then, you know, she exposed Adam and they were like, you know, open to everything. Let me put y'all on to a little secret. That was supposed to happen. Yes, you didn't know that, did you? That is supposed to happen. When you come into this world, our minds are so bogged down with religion, with what is taught to us, we don't know the truth, that we forget our main purpose. We forget why our spirit chose to have a human experience. So therefore, we follow the status quo. We get into religion. We start following Jesus and all this and this and this and that. And so when you have a spiritual awakening, it's really an awakening. You wake up. So what they did, the people who wrote the Bible, they know about spiritual awakenings. They know everyone has this opportunity. They know this is supposed to come, right? So what they did was they made the story of Adam and Eve to deter you from the truth. So basically, what's really supposed to happen, they're making you think that it's not supposed to happen, that that was not right, that their eyes should not have been open. Their eyes should have been open, and that because their eyes were open, everything was destroyed. That's not true. So when you have your spiritual awakening, and I'm going to tell you true life story. So when you have your spiritual awakening, you will start to see snakes. Snakes will come to you in dreams. Snakes perform rituals. Snakes means rebirth. When a snake sheds its skin, it's getting something new, okay? So when the snake comes, that lets you know that it's one, time for you to get to work. Two, you're being reborn. Three, your eyes are about to be open. You're about to see everything around you. What you thought was right is wrong. And you're starting to see the truth. You are awakened. You have woke up, okay? So when they said in the Bible that it was so wrong for um, Eve to go to Adam, that, that was not true. Um, she did the right thing. She went to Adam. She showed Adam because Adam didn't know. And Adam was right to follow her lead. So, please do not believe that story in Genesis about Adam and Eve. They did that story to make you think the complete opposite, okay? That is supposed to happen. When I was going through my spiritual awakening, the snake, it's called Kundalini. That's the snake that goes around your spine. That's the snake that they're talking of. When I was having my spiritual awakening during this time, the snake came off of me and went to my husband then my husband got the snake off of him. The snake went down the window. I went down the stairs to see what happened to the snake. The snake was on the ground, shed its skin, and it disappeared, okay? At that moment right there, I knew what to do for my household. I started doing my rituals. I started doing my spells. My household got better. I started growing in my spiritual journey. So that is supposed to happen. And then I brought my husband into it. I told him things. That is supposed to happen. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't let them fool you. That story in Genesis of Adam and Eve, how they made it seem like that was a downfall. That is the complete opposite. That is not a downfall. You are supposed to be awakened. The snake is supposed to come. When that comes, you have reached your heights and it's time for you to get to work and good things are coming your way, okay? So I hope this puts some perspective on it for people that's in their spiritual journey and help you understand why you're experiencing some of the things that you're experiencing. Again, share this video like this video by all means leave a comment and like i said if you do not follow me start following me okay i'll talk to y'all next time